How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to use and define your own enum types in JavaScript. So there's no actual language support for enums like you might see in C or Java, but what you can do is define a global property, sorry, a global object that behaves and looks like an enum, but it's not actually an enum. So to define this we can start with the const keyword, followed by the name of your enum. For me it'll be direction. And direction might signify a direction that a player is moving towards inside a game. This is equal to an object literal. Now for the properties of this object, it'll be the identifiers or the values of your enum. So direction has up, down, left and right. We can define these like this. We'll use our uppercase to sort of signify that it's a constant. And for the value of this property name, we can use the same name as the property, as a string, for example, up. So up is equal to up in, in a string format. We can do the same thing for the other uh, four, other three actually. So that is now the enum defined. We can then use it in a function like this, for example. Make a new function called say direction, which accepts a direction as a parameter. We can then use a switch case, sorry, a, um, a switch statement, and we'll switch out direction, and we can do different things based on the value of direction, which will be one of these. All right, so we'll say case direction dot up, then we'll just log out a message saying we are going up. And we can do the same thing for the other three uh, enum values. That's all done. So we can now test it by calling say direction and passing in one of these as a parameter. So we can say direction dot up for example. We can save this and then refresh in Chrome and see how we go. And we just get uh, we are going up. Perfect. We can now test it with a few more few more ones. Just for demonstration purposes, we can say left and then right and see how this goes. And we get up, left and right. Alright, so it works. That is basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, obviously this is not actually an enum as I said, but it is. Uh, it behaves like one and it looks like one, so that's fine. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you later.